You've heard of girl math. This is dysregulated nervous system math. If I tell myself I'm going to sleep at nine, I'll actually stay up until one scrolling on social media so I feel like I can have some sort of control over my life again. And then I'll probably wake up two hours later and not be able to shut my brain off. One cup of coffee to get me through the morning will never be enough, but two cups of coffee will make my gut issues flare up, which means there needs to be at least three bathrooms in between my home and where my destination is. If I have a meeting at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I'll spend at least three hours in waiting mode, not being able to do anything except for think about that meeting. How long does it take me to switch in between tasks? Trick question, it's physically impossible for me to switch in between tasks. If I buy one bottle of wine today, how much wine will I have left tomorrow? None, because I drank it all to numb my feelings. How many things did I overcommit to today that I'll eventually end up disappointing someone over? Because I definitely didn't have time to take on all of those commitments. Seven. The sound of someone breathing too loudly next to me plus the feeling of the bra digging into my back equals one mental breakdown. How much money have I spent on new mattresses and massages to make my chronic back pain go away? Too much. How many years did I live with that back pain before I realized that it was a sign of my nervous system being dysregulated? Too many.